Between 1943 and 1944, more than 3 million people in the region of Bengal and India died of starvation and malnutrition in one of the worst atrocities to occur under British rule. During the famines, malnourished families lay stranded and dying on the Calcutta roadsides, and there were even accounts of dogs and vultures eating the dying as they perished. The famine was originally blamed on a drought that stopped the region's food production, as well as an import food shortage due to the Japanese invasion of Burma, which had effectively ceased rice imports into the province. However, various researchers have found found evidence to the contrary. One study that analysed weather data simulators showed that moisture present in the soil indicated rain levels were above average. This was a unique famine caused by policy failure instead of any monsoon failure, said Professor Vimal Mishra, the lead researcher. The Bengal famine did not coincide with any significant shortfall in food production. The food was instead prioritised by Churchill's wartime cabinet to be stockpiled for Britain rather than feeding Indian subjects. During the Vietnam War, American forces played ghost noises in the Vietnamese jungle to affect the psychology of the Viet Cong soldiers. In Vietnamese culture, it is believed by some that if an individual does not receive a proper burial, their soul will continue to walk the earth. To play on this belief, the US created Operation Wandering Soul, in which they had southern Vietnamese soldiers recording messages pretending to be from deceased Viet Cong soldiers. The Americans would then alter the voices and add eerie sounds to the tapes, after which, in the dead of night, they would play the tapes via large sound systems, and the sounds of ghosts would roll through the jungle. The operation wasn't particularly successful as the Viet Cong soldiers quickly realised that the noises were fake. However, in some instances, the soldiers would fire towards the sound of the ghost noises, giving away their location to the American forces. After being accused of being involved in the conspiracy that led to the assassination of Soviet politician Sergei Kirov, the Ukrainian-born Jewish Bolshevik Gregory Zinoviev, along with fellow Bolshevik Lev Kamenev, agreed to plead guilty to the false charges on the condition that they would not face execution, to which Stalin agreed. However, after they pleaded guilty during the famous show trial known as the Trial of 16, Stalin went back on his promise and ordered their execution. Before they faced the firing squad, there were reports that Zinoviev begged to speak with Stalin and dramatically pleaded with the guards for his life. In reaction to Zinoviev's begging, Kamenev stoically told him to quiet down and die with dignity. Weeks later, after the executions, Stalin's head of security, Karl Porker, comedically reenacted Zinoviev pleading for his life during a dinner. Porker, who was a Jew himself, carried out the scene with an over-exaggerated Jewish accent before two friends pretending to be guards dragged him away from the dinner table into another room where he then mimicked Zinoviev begging. Stalin reportedly found the performance so hilarious that he was sick and teary-eyed with laughter. Was Joseph Stalin's right-hand man more evil than Stalin himself? Lavrenti Beria was Stalin's longest-serving secret police chief and was known to be a mass-murdering madman who enjoyed torturing prisoners as well as being a sadistic abuser of women. Beria would ride around Moscow in a limousine and point out young women who would then be taken to a soundproof room in his apartment where he would assault them. His bodyguards would then hand the girls a bouquet of flowers as they left which would imply the act was consensual. If they rejected the flowers, they would be arrested and sent to the gulags or executed. After one woman rejected the flowers, Beria is reported to have said, Now, it is not a bouquet, it is a wreath, may it rot on your grave. After Joseph Stalin found out that his teenage daughter was at Beria's apartment, in a panic he immediately rang the house and told her to leave. Since 1993, various bones have been unearthed in and around the grounds of the apartment where Beria once lived, including the skeletal remains of five young women and the skulls of Crazy facts about the CIA. The CIA and the KGB both tried to blackmail this politician with s tapes and his reaction will shock you. Sukarno was the first president of Indonesia after the country gained its independence from the Dutch in 1945. As he sympathised with communist ideologies but was not a communist himself, both America and the Soviet Union saw him as a potential pawn during the Cold War. Sukarno was a known womanizer, and both intelligence agencies decided to exploit his lustful tendencies. Whilst on a trip to Russia, the KGB ran a honey trap operation in which an operative who was posing as a flight attendant seduced the president and tricked him into making a s tape. The KGB then tried to blackmail Sukarno with the tape, but legend has it that Sukarno was delighted with what he saw and asked for extra copies. After hearing reports that the tape had dented Sukarno's popularity in his home country, the CIA decided to film a fake s tape in 1958. They hired an actor and fitted him with a face mask and filmed him performing s acts on a blonde woman. However, the tape was never distributed. Crazy facts about the CIA. During the Vietnamese Buddhist crisis in the early 1960s, CIA agents noticed that Buddhists protesting against the Diem regime would stand strong in the face of police violence and even tear gas, but they would stop protesting when the rains came. Noticing this reaction to the weather, the agency then deployed US aircrafts rigged with silver iodide and seeded the skies over demonstrations. The rains made the demonstrations stop and Operation Popeye was born. Between 1967 and 1972, the secret operations deployed aircraft 
paths to seed specific areas along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, with the intention of softening road surfaces, causing landslides and washing out rivers and generally disrupting the movement of soldiers and resources into South Vietnam, as well as providing cover for US bomb deployments. The operation extended the monsoon season and it is estimated to have increased rainfall over parts of Vietnam by 30%. The program was revealed to the public in 1971 and this discovery would lead to the banning of environmental modification by the end of the decade. The darkest moments in history, the Jallianwala Bag Massacre. On April the 13th, 1919, thousands of peaceful protesters gathered at the Jallianwala Bag Gardens in Amritsar to celebrate the Punjabi festival of Vasaki, as well as to demonstrate against British rule. Fearing a major insurrection could take place, the Colonel Reginald Dyer ordered that his troops block the exits, and without warning the crowd to disperse, he ordered the soldiers open fire on the innocent people. Chaos ensued, and a stampede caused a lethal crush as troops fired 1,650 rounds of ammunition into the mass of people. As some of the soldiers initially shot into the sky, Dyer is reported to have said, Fire low, what have you been brought here for? The gunfire was even aimed at the exit gates through which the civilians were trying to escape. Some estimates place the death toll as high as 1,500, with a 1,000 more being injured. The event was condemned by British Parliament, and Reginald Dyer was removed from duty. However, he was labelled as a hero by some of the British public, and £26,000 was raised for him after his dismissal. History fact check. Did Joseph Stalin attempt to genetically breed eight men hybrid super soldiers for world domination? According to an article in The Scotsman, Stalin told the scientist Ilya Ivanov, who specialised in artificial insemination and the hybridization of animals, that he wanted to create a new invincible human being, insensitive to pain, resistant and indifferent about the quality of food they ate. In the 1920s, the Bolshevik government even funded an experiment conducted by Ivanov that took place in French Guinea, in which the mad scientist inseminated three female chimpanzees with human sperm, but they failed to create a pregnancy. Then again, in 1929, he attempted to inseminate five human volunteers, but due to the death of his last remaining primates, this experiment also failed. For his lack of scientific ethics and his failures, he was sentenced to five years in jail and exiled to Kazakhstan. Under closer examination, there was no concrete evidence to support that Stalin directly made any statements surrounding eight men super warriors. And although artificial insemination experiments did take place, Stalin's eight men super warrior myth can be dismissed. For every German soldier killed, 100 deaths were ordered. For every German injured, 50 deaths were to be claimed. These were the punishments devised by Adolf Hitler himself to stop the Eastern European resistance during 1941. After 10 German soldiers were killed and 26 injured during an attack carried out by the communist partisans and Chetniks near the city of Kragujevac, the Nazis in retaliation decided to raid the city, burning four villages to the ground and killing 400 men, as well as arresting and executing all of the Jewish men in the city. However, these numbers did not fulfill the quota set by the Fuhrer, so the German troops rounded up 10,000 males between the ages of 16 and 60 before selecting victims from the group and marching them into a field on the outskirts of the city where in groups of 50 to 150 they were fired on with machine guns. Estimated deaths range as high as 7,000, although it has been agreed by various historians that around 2,800 died, 144 of which were high school students. It has been said that as the school children faced the guns they shouted, we are Serb children, shoot, and other victims sang the patriotic song Hey Slav, which would later go on to become the Yugoslavian national anthem. Kim Il-sung, the father of Kim Jong-il and the grandfather to Kim Jong-un, may have been an imposter and a Soviet puppet. According to the investigative journalist Annie Jacobson, the CIA once concluded in a dossier entitled The Identity of Kim Il-sung that the founder of North Korea may have been an orphan named Kim song joo who murdered a fellow student after a robbery gone bad and who was then identified by Soviet Union intelligence to be a possible candidate to be blackmailed into working for the communists. According to the dossier, the real Kim Il-sung was a genuine North Korean war hero who Stalin's assassins killed so Soviet intelligence could steal his identity and replace him with the murderous orphan Kim song joo on the conditions that he would act as a Soviet puppet. When Stalin then appointed a man named Kim Il-sung to Secretary General of the North Korean Communist Party, the Soviets gave specific instructions to the leaders of the regime that there should be no questions raised about Kim Il-sung's identity. Disturbing facts about the British Empire it is estimated that 165 million people died under British rule in India. That's more than the combined number of deaths that occurred during Stalin's Soviet Union, Maoist China and the German Holocaust. Life expectancy in India declined from 26.7 years to 21.9. According to the historian Robert C. Allen, Indian living standards prior to British rule were on par with the developing parts of Western Europe. But during British rule, poverty rose from 23% in 1810 to more than 50% in the mid-20th century. In 1346, this king fought in a battle 
battle whilst being completely blind. After going blind during his crusades in Lithuania, John of Bohemia decided to not let his disability hold him back and joined the French army in their fight against the English in the Battle of Cressy. After it was clear the battle was in the hands of the English, John's knights could not persuade the blind king to turn around. Instead, he mounted his horse and his knights, also on horseback, attached themselves to either side of the horse's bridle before they charged at the English and incredibly, he was killed alongside his knights and his horses, obviously. The most unethical experiments. The Vip Home experiment was a series of unethical experiments performed on children and adults with intellectual disabilities in Lund, Sweden from 1945 to 1955, in which the Swedish sugar industry and dental communities sponsored an effort to determine whether carbohydrates affected the formation of cavities and how sugar affected people's teeth. The experiments took place in the Vip Home Hospital for the intellectually disabled. The researchers decided to feed the patients copious amounts of sweets and a diet extremely rich in sugar. The recipe for the sweets themselves were even altered to make the toffees stick to the patient's teeth more. Many of their teeth were damaged and the teeth of about 50 of the 660 patients were completely ruined. Journalist Thomas Kanger said, I've seen dental records of this. Every tooth was black. These people were in terrible pain. However, the researchers felt that scientifically speaking, the experiment was a huge success. As a result of the study, the government recommended that Swedish people only gave their children sweets once a week. The practice established itself in Swedish society and became known as Lordagsgudis, which takes place on a Saturday. In 1907, whilst enlisted in the United States Army, the serial killer Karl Panzerim, who may have killed up to 100 people, was convicted of larceny and given a two-year prison sentence by the US Secretary of War and future president William Howard Taft. Whilst Panzerim was in prison, Taft was elected as the President of the United States. Then, after Panzerim served his sentence, in an act of revenge, he burgled a mansion belonging to Taft, stealing jewellery and bonds as well as Taft's handgun. Panzerim used the money from the burglary to buy a yacht and went on an eight-year long killing spree spanning multiple countries using the president's handgun to murder his victim. The weirdest moments in history. This jockey won a horse race after he died. On June the 4th 1923, Frank Hayes won a steeplechase despite suffering a fatal heart attack in the latter part of the race, making him the first and so far only jockey to have won a race after death. History fact check. Did Catherine the Great die whilst getting jiggy with a horse? The Empress of Russia, Catherine the Great, died on the 17th of November 1796 whilst attempting to engage in intercourse with her prized stallion when the harness holding the gigantic horse broke. The horse fell, crushing the Empress, causing her to pass away. Or so the story goes. However, somewhat unsurprisingly, this urban legend is completely fabricated and was circulated after the Empress's death by her detractors to tarnish her legacy. Catherine did have a great love for her horses and she also led a sexually liberated lifestyle compared to other female royalty throughout history, which led to her being heavily scrutinized and judged by many of the male members of Russian society. However, the rumor of her death was nothing more than an attempt to smear her reputation. In reality, Catherine the Great died of a stroke and was discovered collapsed on the floor in her washroom. The most unethical experiments. The Pit of Despair was the name for an isolation chamber created by the American psychologist Harry Harlow, best known for his work on maternal bonding in rhesus monkeys. The chamber was designed to be used in experiments on rhesus monkeys at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the 1970s to study the effects of isolation and depression. Harlow took a group of monkeys ranging in ages from three months to three years who had already bonded with their mothers and isolated the animals in the Pit of Despair. He also placed baby monkeys in the chamber shortly after they were born. Other than a food box and a water bottle holder, the chambers were completely isolated. Four of the monkeys were left for 30 days, four for six months, and four for a whole year. After a matter of days of being placed in the chamber, most monkeys would fall into a still and huddled state, and after only 30 days, the monkeys were found to be enormously disturbed. Once removed, they were incapable of participating in normal social behavior. Some of the animals stopped interacting completely, and two of the monkeys starved themselves to death. The experiment was condemned by the scientific community, both at the time and later. Crazy facts about the CIA. In the 1960s, the CIA put microphones in the ears of cats with the intention of spying on Soviet embassies. The microphones were implanted in the cat's ear canal and a small radio transmitter was placed at the base of the animal's skull, connecting a thin wire that attached to the cat's fur, which would allow the cats to innocuously record and transmit sounds from its surroundings. Project Acoustic Kitty was a $20 million failure, mainly down to the fact that cats are notoriously difficult to train and easily distracted. Crazy facts about the CIA. 
In the early 2000s, the CIA discussed plans to make an Osama Bin Laden action figure that would scare children to ensure that they didn't become enticed by his message. According to the Washington Post, the face of the figure was painted with heat dissolving material designed to peel off and reveal a red faced Bin Laden who looked like a demon. The idea was rejected, but an early prototype of the toy was discovered and placed at auction in 2014. Crazy facts about the Vietnam War Whilst being supported by America during the Vietnam War, South Vietnam used the guillotine as a mode of execution as late as 1960. The guillotine was originally brought to the country by the French in the early 20th century and was transported into different provinces during the Vietnam War to decapitate Vietnamese patriots. In 1965, three American citizens separately set themselves on fire to protest the war. In March of that year, at the age of 82, the German-born feminist activist Alice Hurst became the first person to immolate themselves in the United States. Then in November, in the space of eight days, Roger Allen LaPorte and Norman Morrison both set themselves on fire in front of the United Nations building in New York City and the Pentagon, respectively. For reasons still unknown, Morrison brought his one-year-old daughter with him to the Pentagon and set her aside out of harm's reach before setting himself on fire. Only 25% of military forces in combat zones in Vietnam were draftees. Most of the soldiers who faced conflict during the war were volunteers or individuals who had already been serving in the army. Crazy facts about the CIA. In the 1950s, the CIA toyed with the idea of dropping extra-large condoms labelled small and medium over Soviet-controlled nations in the hope that they would be found by the men of those countries and they would assume that the Americans were extremely well endowed which would lower their morale. However, the plan was never carried out. The weirdest moments in history, the Tunguska explosion. On the 30th of June 1908, in the depths of Siberia, something exploded five miles above the Podkamenaya Tunguska River with the force of a 12.5 megaton nuclear bomb. Trees were scorched and flattened over a vast area. Witnesses reported seeing a light so bright that it looked like a second sun. However, the event left no crater. The explosion is the largest impact event on Earth in recorded history, though larger ones have occurred in prehistoric times. The explosion is generally attributed to be a meteor airburst, which is the atmospheric explosion of a stony asteroid about 50 to 60 meters in size. Crazy facts about MI6. In 2010, the body of Gareth Williams, who was temporarily working for MI6, was found in his flat inside a padlock travel bag in a bathtub. Members of Williams' family alleged that crucial DNA and fingerprints were removed from the scene. And in 2015, the former KGB agent Boris Karpakov stated that the Russians tried to blackmail Williams into becoming a double agent after Williams became aware of the identity of a Russian spy inside the government communication headquarters. However, there was officially insufficient evidence to give a verdict of unlawful. Killing. On the 20th of September in the year 2000, the MI6 headquarters, known as the SIS building, which has been featured in multiple James Bond films, was attacked by a rocket launcher. The attack was carried out by the Real Irish Republic Army with a Russian-built anti-tank rocket. However, the attack caused minimal damage as the building is bullet and bomb proof. In 2011, it was revealed that British intelligence officers sabotaged the launch of an Al-Qaeda English language website by swapping a 67-page instruction manual on how to build a bomb with a recipe for making cupcakes. Crazy facts about the British Empire. In 1947, shortly before the Indian Independence Act, the British lawyer Cyril Radcliffe was tasked with creating a border between India and the newly formed nation of Pakistan, a monumental decision, the consequences of which could potentially have a catastrophic impact on the lives of millions of people. However, the creation of the partition was rushed and according to an article in the BBC, it was alleged by the ex-British army officer Christopher Beaumont that a huge section of the Muslim majority territory, which was awarded to India rather than Pakistan, was decided by Radcliffe and Louis Mountbatten over a single lunch. Tens of millions of Muslims in India and Hindus in Pakistan were uprooted, and around a million people lost their lives in the ensuing religious conflict. Crazy facts about the FBI. The FBI framed four innocent men for a murder. On March 12, 1965, Edward Deegan was found murdered in an alley in Chelsea, Massachusetts. Two days before his murder, using a wiretap, the FBI had eavesdropped on a conversation between Vincent Flemmy and Joseph the Animal Barbosa, two mafia members who had planned to murder Deegan. However, FBI agents were in the process of recruiting Flemmy and Barbosa as informants, and even after hearing the conversation, they did nothing to prevent Deegan's murder. The FBI then framed four innocent men of the crime to keep their informants on the streets. The four men were convicted on the basis of a fake witness testimony provided by Barbosa. Two of the men were sentenced to life imprisonment and two were sentenced to death. However, the state of Massachusetts later changed their death penalty law and the men were given life in prison. Two of the men died in prison and the others spent decades behind bars. In the year 2000, documents revealed the conspiracy and even indicated J. Edgar Hoover was aware of the situation. The United States government paid out 101.7 million 
million crazy facts about the KGB. According to British historian Christopher Andrew and the ex-KGB senior archivist Vasily Matrokin, in 1971 the KGB planned to exacerbate racial tensions in the United States of America by planting a bomb at an African American college in New York and then making anonymous calls to various African American organizations claiming that the explosion was the work of the Jewish Defense League in the hope that the event might add to the racial tension within the country and possibly ignite a race war. However, Operation Pandora was never carried out. Crazy facts about the KGB. In 1987, the FBI tasked the agent Robert Hansen with finding a mole within the agency that was working for the KGB. A mole who had leaked information in regards to three secret agents, information that led to two of the three men being executed by the Soviet government and one being imprisoned for six years. However, the mole was in fact Robert Hansen himself who had been working with the KGB since 1979. In effect, Hansen had been tasked with searching for himself. Crazy facts about the KGB. Ernest Hemingway was a KGB agent. The Nobel Prize winning writer was recruited in 1941 before making a trip to China and was given the cover name Argo. According to a former KGB agent, Hemingway repeatedly expressed his desire and willingness to help the KGB. However, he failed to give us any political information and was never verified in practical work. Crazy facts about Mossad. The assassination of Mahmoud Hamshari after the 1972 Munich massacre in which the Palestine militant organization Black September killed two members of the Israeli Olympic team and took nine others hostage. The Israeli government launched Operation Wrath of God in which Mossad, the Israeli intelligence agency, were tasked with tracking down and killing anybody who was involved with the Munich terrorist attack. After Mahmoud Hamshari, a Black September representative from Paris, was identified as a target by Mossad, a Mossad agent posing as an Italian journalist lured Hamshari away from his apartment whilst other Mossad agents broke in and planted explosives in Hamshari's phone. The agent, posing as a journalist, then arranged a time for a phone interview between himself and Hamshari. And after Hamshari identified himself on the phone, the explosives were remotely detonated. Hamshari later died from his injuries. Crazy facts about the CIA, part two. The CIA sold weapons to the IRA. According to the Belfast Telegraph, declassified files linking the CIA to the IRA showed that the CIA were involved in gun running to the IRA during the troubles. The declassified files followed the 1982 trial of five self-confessed IRA weapon smugglers who claimed to have bought the arms from a dealer who was an undercover CIA agent. The agent had been ordered to export the weapons to monitor the flow of arms to Ireland and prevent the IRA from turning to the Soviet Union for arms. Or so the gun runners defense claimed in court. The CIA have stayed silent on the allegations.